Hi all this will be our fourth part in array methods in this we are going to see is array includes index of last index of sum every and fill method previously we have seen all these methods which are highlighted in green color now we are going to see this seven methods i have opened visual studio code and this will be our 57th video in javascript series here i have one array let me just remove this four so that i can see all the values here i have array inside this i am having all types of value i am having strings i am having numbers and also i am having boolean value now in this first let me just display array i will save this now you can see inside my console i am having all the values as we all know array value can be accessed using index number but if you are aware that the data type of array is an object let me just show you type of i will save this you can see type of array is object now maybe in future while you are doing some project how you will get to know that which variable you are using it is an array or an object so for that we have one method to find out whether that variable is array or not so for that we are going to use is array method is array this method will be finding out whether that variable is array or not if it is an array we will get the value as true if it is not an array we will get the value as false it will just return true or false now here let me just write here log inside this first we will be writing this array dot is array and inside this we just have to pass our array variable name our variable is a so i am just passing here a i will save this now you can see i got the result as true which means a is an array now we have to pass this variable names we cannot pass the values present inside that now if i just pass here chennai this value is present inside this array but this is not an array i will save this i will get the result as false so whenever we are using this is array method we have to pass the variable which is holding our array now here if i just write here empty here i don't have anything i will save this again i will get the result as true because square brackets indicates array so we will get the result as true but for this same if i just write here single quotes now this is not an array i will get the result as false basically whenever we are writing single quotes or double quotes the words or whatever it is it will be treated as a string it will no longer be an array so i will get the result as false so you should be very very careful now inside this if i just give here empty objects i will save i will get the result as false only for array we will get the result as true for rest all we will get the result as false from your end get multiple values try for multiple examples and get the result this is our is array method now next we are going to see includes method i will write one comment includes in this is array method we saw we have to pass the variable and we have to check whether this variable is array or not but in this includes method we will be passing the values whatever values are present we are going to pass inside this one and we will check whether this value is included inside this array or not i will remove this one we are not going to write the syntax like this first we have to pass the variable which is holding our array dot includes and inside this i will write here bangalore let me just copy and here i will be writing i will save this now you can see again i will get the result as true but same thing the value if i pass inside is array i will get the result as false because inside is array we have to pass the variable but inside this includes we have to pass the values which is present inside the array this includes also will return the result either true or false now we have given numbers also if i just write here 500 it is belonging so i will get the result as true now if i write here 600 it is not belonging to array a so i will get the result as false we can pass the boolean value also 
true is belonging to this yes it is so i will get the result if i am not having this true here i will get the result as false because this true value is not present inside this array a so basically it will just check whether this value is present inside the array or not so this is all about includes method next we are going to see about index of method i will come down index of i will be commenting out everything here i have created one array inside this i am having black white yellow orange and let me just give black again and here i will be giving green i will save this my console is cleared now inside this array i am having six values now let me just display that one log color i will save this i am having all the six data now index of what it will be doing it will be returning the index of first match now suppose i want to search for black index of will be returning the first match so at first position i am having black so that index number will be returned i will just show you with an example log and inside this also first we have to pass array name dot index of index of and inside this i just have to pass the value black i will save this now you can see i got the result as zero because here also i am having black here also i am having black but index of will be searching for the first match and we will get index position of that particular black and we will get the index position of that value this is how we are going to write array name dot index of inside this we will be passing the value and also we can give the start position i don't want this value instead i want this value so what we can do we can give the start position this is zero position i don't want to count from here i just want to count from first position i will save this now from first i am having only this one so 0 1 2 3 4 at fourth position i am having this black so fourth position black will be displayed basically that value index number will be displayed if i am not having any value inside this let me just write here apple apple is not present inside this colors i will get the result as minus 1 if the value is present first occurrence index position will be returned if we give the start value from there what position the value is there that values index number will be returned if the value is not at all present then we will get the result as minus 1 when we give start position it will start searching from here from r left to right here let me just remove this one and i will be writing here black and here i will be writing minus 1 let's write here black i will save this i have given the negative number and i have given black whenever we give negative values the values will be counted like this minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 as i told you for index of the searching will be from left to right or left to right even if we give this minus 1 the search will be from left to right this is minus 1 after this i do not have any black color so i will get the result as minus 1 basically it is telling from after green i am not having any black color now if i give here minus 3 i will save this now i will get the result as four whatever index number i am having for this black i will get the result because minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 the searching starts from here but searching will go like this itself it is not going to come in this way it will always go in this way from left to right so i will get the result in the same way we have last index of i will write here last index of this is completely opposite of index of method in this the search will be from right to left and it will be giving the end position first i will just write here last index i will remove this i will just write here black 
directly i will be getting the result as 4 but for index of we were getting the result as 0 but for this last index of the search will be started from right to left now here let me just write here 4 i will save this now at fourth position i am having black i am getting the result i will give here 3 i will save this now i will get the result as 0 because 0 1 2 and 3 from 3 it is going to search like this and at 0 position i am having this so i will get the result as 0 if i give here minus 3 i will save this again i will get 0 because the searching will be done like this i hope you are clear with index of and last index of if the value is not present we will get the result as minus 1 for both index of and last index of we will get the result as minus 1 if the value is not present you just have to remember index of will be giving the index position and the searching will be started from left to right or left to right but in last index of first it is going to give the index number of the last value which is found and the searching will be continued from right to left next let's talk about sum and every method now sum method what we will be doing inside this sum method we will pass one function and this function whatever criteria we have given inside that function suppose if i am having some values inside the sum method that criteria will be checked even if one criteria gets matched i will get the result as true okay i will just show you with an example now inside this let me just create one array yeah and inside this i will give some values 45 68 33 3, 1 and 90 log a i will save this i will open console now inside this i am having the value of a now what some function will be returning if any one condition matches i will get the result as true basically it will be taking function as its parameter let me just create one variable let b is equal to inside this also array name dot sum function here you can either use normal function or you can use fat arrow function basically this will be taking callback function as its parameter i will be writing here criteria criteria function my function name i will copy this function and below this, I am just going to create that function. Function, save. And inside this, I just want to check for the condition, return. Here, let me just write here. One variable. Criteria is greater or equal to 50. And to check for each value, we have to pass one parameter. I am just passing inside this. After this, I just want to display the value of B. I will save this. I got the result as true. Let us check. First, 45 will be passed inside this function. 45 is greater or equal to 50. The condition fails. Again, it will just pass 67. 67 inside this one. 67 is greater than 50. Yes, it is. But 67 is not equal to 50. But one condition is getting matched. So, I will get the result as true. If any one number, if any one criteria matches, I will get the result as true. It will be taking this callback function and we are just passing like this. If you don't want to write this callback function, you can use fat arrow function. Here I will be passing criteria. And this is just going to check criteria is greater or equal to 50. Like this also you can check. I will just print B. I will save this. Again, I will get the same result. Now, if I just write here, let me write here, criteria is equal to equal to 100. Now, this condition will fail for all these things. I will save this. I will get the result as false. If any one number is equal to 100, then only I will get the result as true. I will write here 100. I will save this. I will get the result as true. If any one number passes the condition, I will get the result as true for some method. The same way we have every method. This is just the opposite of some method. 
I will just write here every. I will be pasting entire code. Now for this every method, each and every number has to pass the condition. I will just write here every. Okay, you can use either this way or you can use this fat arrow function. I will just comment it out. Now inside this, only this number is passing this condition. So I will get the result as false. I will just print B. I will get the result as false. But for this one, here I am having 100. When I printed B, I got the result as true. But for every method, each and every number has to pass the condition. Only then I will get the result. If I remove all this and if I keep only 100, I will get the result as true. Now here I am just going to give the condition greater or equal to uh, 40. I will save this again. I will get the result as false because we are having numbers less than 40 as well. I will remove all these things. I will save this. Now I will get the result as true because 45 is greater greater than 40 if it is not equal it's fine but it is greater than 40 this condition passes again 67 90 100 for all this this condition matches so i will get the result as true if i just write here one i will say i will get the condition as false because number one is not passing this criteria for some any one condition matches i will get the result as true but for every every number has to pass the condition only then I will be getting the result. Now we are going to see the last method for the day. That is fill method. I will just write here fill. And you should always remember some method and every method. It is not going to change this original array. This is our array. This will remain as it is. Now fill method what it will be doing. Now suppose here I am having one array. I will just copy this one. When we give fill method, we are going to specify one value. That value will be filled inside the array and it will be overwriting our original existing array. A dot fill and inside this, I just want to fill with 1000. I will save this. I have just filled all this array value with 1000. Now if I display A, I will save this. You can see all the values are filled with 1000. It has overwritten this existing array it has changed our original array previously if i just write here array this is my array after giving this fill method and after giving this value all these values are overwritten by thousand i got this data basically this will change our original array now suppose i am having some string data inside our array i will copy here i will paste and now I am just going to write color dot fill and all this I just want to fill with apple. And below this I just want to display the color. I will save this. Now you can see all the values are filled with apple. It is just going to overwrite our original array. If you just want to change all the values inside the array with only one value then you can use this fill method and you can get the data. Now it's not at all like we have to change all the values. Suppose if you want to change yellow and orange with apple. Now what I will be doing? I will be giving the start and end position. First I have to give the index position of this one for start. That is 2. For last index I just have to give the length of the array. Length let me just write here 4. Because I am having 4 data. So I will be writing here 4. I will save this. Now you can see. Only yellow and orange is changed with apple. Now I just want to change only this two data. So first index position I will be giving here 1. Now I should not be giving 4 because orange will also be changed. I have to give length minus 1. Because whatever index number we are having for last position we have to give plus 1. I will save this. Now you can see only these two are changed. First and last data is same. In this section, we have seen these seven methods in array. Is array includes index of, last index of, sum, every and fill. Next few sessions, we are going to learn more methods in arrays so that 
every method will be useful in our projects